Welcome to the Salt Edition of Quick and Simple Life Hacks. We've put together seven alternate ways to utilize salt to your advantage. Let's spice it up. Did something sticky or nasty melt on your iron? Not even a problem. Turn your iron to high and let it warm up. While it's heating, grab some wax paper or newspaper and sprinkle a generous amount of salt onto the surface. Now move the hot iron in a back and forth motion for about one minute. The salt will grab the residue and clump it up onto the paper. When you're done, you'll have a squeaky clean sole plate. Oops! Did you accidentally drop an egg on the floor or table? Cleaning up a wet egg can be a pain and take tons of paper towels to get it all, but no longer is that the case. Sprinkle a healthy dose of salt on the spill and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. The salt will work as a coagulant and let you brush that eggy mess right into a bag. How exciting! Now one of the worst things that can happen while cooking is a grease fire, but if you have some salt on hand, you can easily avoid calling the fire department. Grab your salt and pour it directly onto the flames. It'll cut off the flow of oxygen that's working as a catalyst and smother that flame. Did you walk away from the stove for a minute and come back to some nasty burnt food? The caked on grease and food particles can be a real pain to get off the pan. Here's an easy way to do it without much effort. Cover the inside of the pan with a nice layer of salt and then add a little bit of water. The salt water mixture will slowly lift off all the grease and food particulate from the pan's surface. After about 10 minutes, you can simply wipe away the debris and move on with your life. Now, maybe after wiping that pan up, you got your sponge a bit nasty. Salt to the rescue once again. Just as the grease was lifted from the skillet, it'll work the same way with the sponge. Fill a container with about two cups of water and then sprinkle and dissolve about a fourth a cup of salt directly into it. Place your sponge in and leave it overnight. When you grab it in the morning, it'll leave all the nastiness behind and your sponge again is ready for prime time. Now what about those hard to clean bathtub stains? Sometimes Comet and Ajax just won't cut it. So here's what we do. Check your garage for some turpentine and mix it with an equal amount of salt. Here I did about one cup of both. Now put on some safety gloves and make sure a window's open. This stuff stinks. Stir the mixture and dissolve as much salt as you can. Now apply the abrasive salt and turpentine potion directly to a sponge and start scrubbing away. After just a minute or so, you'll see those pesky stains lifting off and leaving you with a beautiful porcelain finish. Ah, shiny. All right, finally. Let's talk about that disgusting hair clog you found in the tub. First, clear all you can with your hands. And now let's make some natural Drano. Measure out a fourth of a cup of baking soda and a fourth of a cup of salt. Shake it up a bit and pour it directly into the open drain. Now get yourself about half a cup of white vinegar and pour it down as well. The reaction will foam up and start eating away at that clog. But you're gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes so it can do its full job. While you wait, boil up a pot of water, pour it directly down the drain, clear out any remaining powder. Boosh! No more clogs. Now keep in mind we're still giving away a few sets of our homemade Household Hacker coasters. Some are even signed. If you want to possibly get your hands on your own, sign up for our email list and we'll choose a winner at random for the next few weeks. The link's in the description or just go to householdhacker.tv slash list. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more. We've got all kinds of crazy life hacks to solve common problems. Here, check out a couple other videos below and we'll see you next time.